Hello friends and welcome to episode 10 of Randolph Skinopol City Skylines. This series was initially meant to be a 10 part series, but just with myself being away this weekend I think we'll make it 11 part so I can hopefully put some content out over the weekend and just give folks something to watch in, in place of a stream. I think today I'm going to look to try and do something about the traffic and the infrastructure problems we're having. Um, <laughs> you can see that we're down now at 67%. So I'm desperately, desperately, desperately looking to change that. And I think I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to do that by trying to offer a bridge here. And offer some sort of flow of traffic underneath this. How successful this will be, I honestly don't know. But I'm just looking to try and cut down on the traffic that's going elsewhere. Like, this, da this dam is killing me inside. This dam is killing me how heavy the traffic is. This is barely being used. I'm hoping by putting this in we're going to take some of the traffic off the far side. My worry, I guess, is that this ends up becoming a, a bit of a disaster in terms of the, the volume of traffic on it. Um, here I'm going to put just some high res. This is all going to be high res here, down by the, the shore. So yeah, I'm hoping that helps with the traffic situation. It probably won't, but uh, time will tell. And it's another another way for, for some traffic to make its way across. I'm honestly contemplating just slamming in another bridge here. Again, just to alleviate some of the traffic from elsewhere. So honestly, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So there's now two bridges where traffic can make its way across. The highway is still flowing pretty, pretty smoothly, pretty sweetly. Which is obviously massively important. We'll see what happens here with traffic flow. I'll probably look, I'll probably look to fill some of this in. The one thing that I do have on my mind just now is that there's all this space for residential about the town. There's here. There's over here. So there's space for people to move in if they want to, which is one of the reasons I don't want to just go and, you know, idly fill in all these gaps. Um, along here, we're having problems here with shoppers. So hopefully, I mean, I'm hoping that changes with uh, the flow of traffic here. I am sort of concerned about the flow of traffic that's going to be in and around the stadium, but I was trying to get more footfall for customers there. Um, let's have a look now. But it's 69%, so we've went up a wee tad. The dam is, is back a bit. It was up here towards the start of this episode. It's, it's kind of flowing a bit more now. So we'll take that with a smile. Um, but looking around, I don't think there's a massive amount more that I want to do. We could maybe put in some more of the attractions. That's one thing we were talking about. Um, this, this tax office. I think I'm going to put the tax office in here somewhere. In fact, we could put it there and that way it's on that, that street. And it's next to the fire station and whatnot. I feel like that kind of makes a bit of sense. Um, alternatively, what else have we got to place? We need to get some money. I'd like to put the high interest tower and in, in the the scene skyscraper. I, I don't know why. I've got it in my mind that it just looks the part here. So I think I'm going to put it like there. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll get some more money in the bank, which as you can see is not something we're struggling for. Um, our population is rising. They're still going on about, is it death or is that sickness? That's death, right? A dead person is waiting for transport. So to me that says that they're looking for either a crematorium or a... Uh, we're looking for a crematorium here. I'm just going to put it there. See if that makes any difference. This is uh, pretty grim, but honestly, I think it's got something to do with the, the tips. So 13% there to be emptied. What are they? Citizens are sick. It's because of the tip. We're trying to work on the tips. Just give me time, gang. Give me time. Um, we almost have no issues on this side of the road, which is something I like. They're, they're very minor. Um, a dead person is waiting. I'm, I'm not sure how. Considering we have both... Uh, we have both a graveyard here and a crematorium there. I mean, I could maybe give them another crematorium there. I mean, that seems overkill. Two crematoriums for this one bit of town. This place is filling in, which is cool to see. Really cool to see. The <laughs> the Mall of Moderation has two visitors per week. The Hypermarket has eight visitors. That's uh, They're certainly not paying for themselves, but I guess they, they boost land value and whatnot around them, don't they? Like, in terms of... In terms of commercial, they're gonna they're gonna increase the value. I honestly love this place, and it, it, it saddens me and pains me that there's not more expansion here. I think this could be a really cool little neighbourhood. I noticed the traffic here is actually pretty bad, so we maybe need to look at the junctions here. I feel like we need to sort of we need to try and do something with the traffic here. That's a stop sign. Can we just take that off? Is that gonna help? That should just flow now, right? Yeah, there's no massive traffic issues there, so I'm hoping that's better. This place is running pretty... Yeah, honestly, everywhere's running pretty well here. Stop signs here seem to be working, letting traffic flow. Here, the traffic's definitely better. 
Maybe we take the stop sign off. Is that going to help? This place is a... Uh, oh my god, look at the traffic here. What if we put some lights on? Is that going to help? So the flow's currently about two-thirds of the way across. Let's give it a second and see if the lights help. I don't think the lights have helped at all. Let's see how many cars get through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty, maybe 20 to 25 cars get through each each light. We should maybe check the traffic flow, see if I've done anything with those. But it's 70%. So we've made some right decisions. That's that's a that's an absolute disaster there. Let's just immediately um I'm going to take all that off and see how this goes. In fact, this stop sign should honestly be fine because this is mostly a service road. But that, that should be flowing pretty pretty easily, pretty well. Right, that stop sign there is fine. That's allowing the traffic to flow. We've got lights there, which seems to be working. I guess the traffic's bad here if we take the stop sign off and maybe put the stop sign on there. That'll allow the traffic to flow because most of the traffic appears to be off of this. Yeah, the lights there seem to be working pretty well. Um, we've got some more money in the bank, so let's get some more attractions in. Um, our expo centre, we could maybe put that like here. Could be cool to do it next to the, the stadia. But where do we want it? We'll put that there, and then we'll just put some roads surrounding it. I think this is like my new thing. Uh, they're apparently looking for some power, which is obviously something that we'll, we'll need to provide here. So here I'm just going to do that. I think what I might do is do this like the full way across, just have commercial here. I feel like that kind of makes sense. They're saying they need power, um, so I guess we'll just need to we'll need to just draw that here just now until there's a bit of a spread of of uh, of housing. Right, that's another another expo center in, so hopefully that will draw in some traffic as well. And um, what we maybe want here actually is a road coming to this because people are probably going to flock to. An expo centre, right? I'm tempted to build like a ring road. Maybe here. So what I'm going to do is have that come here. This makes sense in my, in my mind, but maybe it doesn't make sense on paper. So I'm going to have that as like a flowing road. And then underneath here, I'm going to have that like there. And then here, we'll do that. That way traffic can come off here to come onto this. And then when traffic's coming off, they... Oh, that's a... Uh, that's a problem. That is a problem there. This is literally going to be a full episode of just sorting junctions. If we stop the traffic there, right? We'll just tail back to... It's probably these traffic lights. So we turn them off. The traffic's flown here enough that I don't think we need traffic lights. I think it should flow okay. I'll keep the lights there and I'll keep the lights there. This stop sign is helping. That's flowing a bit better. A few folk are coming this way. We don't need lights here. We'll just have stop signs. And there we'll have lights. Here we'll not have anything. And I don't want anything here. These should be free flowing. Okay. Plenty of expansion room. We've got some infrastructure based around our, our draw here. Our, our draw areas. These are the areas that tourists and visitors are going to come to. Our highways are absolutely thundering with traffic. Which is great to see. I'm just wondering, in terms of zones, we've got a nice shape just now. I'm not, I'm not sure what other sort of shape we're looking for. It could be cool to buy this and uh, put some more island sort of... Uh, I guess they're not islands, they're more like uh, reclaimed land. Um, for the for the Memi, I'm going to draw a zone here and we're going to call it Amsterdam. Or the Dutch. Yeah, we're going to call it Dutchland. We're going to let them use the, the marijuana there. So we've got... Oh, didn't rename it. So we have Dutch land there, just reclaimed land down on the bank. Expo Centre's already got visitors, isn't that fantastic? Okay, what have we got here? Anything? A department store? A winter market? A cinema? And the Chirp X launch site. Oh, we could put in a Chirp X. We could maybe put that in our uh, rural area. We did have plans for a rural area. This place looks like this could be it in here. Nice low res. Um, we do have a cinema. I like the idea of putting in a cinema. I've never actually seen these buildings. Where do you put a cinema? It's probably here somewhere, right? So cinema we could maybe slam in like there. I've probably, um, I'm probably the depths of playing this game more than I ever have before. Like I've never played this much of this game. This is my longest running city. So I owe, uh, I owe part of that to you folks for, for watching and continuing. This is about to empty. What a historic day. 1% full. Come on, son. There we go. Boom. 
Another landfill down. Another landfill is down, which means we can move two incinerators. It's going to make people healthy and happier. I'm going to put one of the incinerators here to, uh, to help out with this side of the town. And then this one, maybe we just put two of them here. It's next to the water pumps. There's no one living there. Uh, right, in terms of garbage, we're actually almost balancing the books. And that is, I believe, I believe that is with us, uh, that is with us cleaning other places as well. So here we're going to go high res. They're all going to be high res there. The land is obviously a little bit polluted and it's going to take some time for it to, to fix itself. Um, I'm going to quickly check traffic now. We're at 73%. So some of the things we've done have worked. Some of them have worked. This place has flown now. It's fixed itself. This place is... It's got park traffic. That's fine. How's the dam? Oh my god. The dam's kind of working. This place isn't working though. Okay, well, we've uh, we've pretty much moved... We've moved the stress of the traffic one, from one place to the other. I'm going to change this from lights to a stop sign there. And see how that goes. Hopefully that makes it flow a bit more. Yeah, it's looking kind of better. The lights here, I don't think we need lights on a roundabout. We'll pop a stop sign there. That should be free flowing, honestly. Three stop signs? Who came up with this? Who came up with that concept? How are we doing here? The traffic here is pretty grim. Let's take that off and put a stop sign there. Uh, this is, oh god, dear god, three stop signs here. I don't know who's came up with that. That definitely wasn't me. Maybe put a stop sign there, actually. One stop sign, keep that flowing. The lights here seem to be working fine. Stop sign there is fine. Fine. Traffic lights here are fine. Traffic lights there. Uh, take that off, put a stop sign on. Stop sign there is not working. That should be free, f relatively free flowing there. That's 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 okay, honestly. These No one's moving in here. Maybe need to put in some parks and whatnot. We have no parks here. No wonder there's no one moving in. There's no uh, there's no dog parks to entice everyone in. Can't blame them for not moving in. I really didn't know we had zero parks here. I can only apologise to everyone. Uh, I'm going to put in... I feel like changing it up here. Let's put in a large playground. Put a large playground in there. And then we've got a park with trees. We'll slam that there. Those are some big parks there. Let's see if this does anything to this uh, this area. Now, I believe these were just like tree streets. Like nothing, nothing special going on here. Just normal roads. I just want straight lines here, complete straight lines. So this is just like my boring, my boring area for population. That's just straight lines. It's not pretending to be anything. It's not. And then we really should put in some roads here, shouldn't we? So halfway will be what. This this probably isn't halfway, but it looks close enough. So there we go. We've got some middle roads that people can use to go up and down. People are already moving in, which is great to see. And here we're just going to go res. High res. Right, they're going on about power, but I think this will spread here in its own time. So, demand for industrial has just absolutely skyrocketed, which is interesting to see. I finally have traffic sort of flown here, so I'm a little bit hesitant to, to put in more roads here, but I think it kind of needs to happen. Maybe if we just if we just mirror this round, like so. Then we'll do the same here, like there, and then I guess that'll do. And then the question is, what do I want to do with these? Do I just want to bring them on here? Like that. Right, just pure industrial here. Let's not pretend it's anything else. It's just, that's what the people want. That's what the people are going to get. If the demand is so high, then they can move in. Well, I've got a bit more money in the bank, so I'm now going to put in a department store. Now, where would you put a department store? It's actually a lot bigger than I, I thought it would be. Where would you put a department store? The, the value here of property is skyrocketing. I wonder if we maybe put it in here. To me, a department store is going to be in a high res area, and this this would have been perfect, but this road's just too big here. Unless we put it there, it kind of fits in with the aesthetic of the area. Let's put put it there. Never actually seen this building. What are they call it? Werner Steinberger, Zenator. Okay, it's very very German looking. That's for sure. Okay, pretty cool looking building. I'm hoping that pops up a bit of value there. They're still saying that there's there's dead people or sick people. A dead person is waiting for transport. Really? Maybe we put a crematorium here next to the department store. See if that takes care of people's uh, frustrations. Our cemetery usage is pretty low, which to my understanding is a good thing. I'm going to quickly tap. Uh, I'm going to quickly check our rubbish. We shouldn't have any landfills left. Oh no, we've got one. Got one landfill. Sixty-one percent full. Our garbage. We are producing slightly more than we're burning. 
I think if we put one more of these in just now, that should uh, that should cover should should suffice. It should suffice. People here, if I put I've put residential in here because I'm a fool. Let's have nothing on this side of the bridge, and then here I think I might just put in some office space. Right, put in some office space. They don't mind. There we go. Keep traffic off this junction. Um, looking good. Money's gone up. Our population's sort of, I guess, the death care thing's not not helping, right? It's really not helping. We're making twenty six k. What's our next uh, attraction we can put in? Here we have a transport tower. We could slam that there. Make this like a little high rise area. I don't know where I want this. A transport tower. Actually, it may look kind of cool next to the bridge. Oh, that works. That's kind of cool. I like that. We've zoned this, right? That's residential. So what we probably actually want here is a uh, commercial. I feel like commercial is going to jump on that opportunity. I'm going to put in some low-res commercial here and just have them be like uh, like services where you stop for a little cheeky comfort break. Say you're driving, you've got a poop attack. You're on the highway, you can jump on here. Get a quick, quick beverage, you know. Okay, our next attractions. What do we want? Here we have a fountain of life and death. I feel like that deserves to be... Unless we slam it in there. They're pretty happy here, though, aren't they? Maybe we ironically put it here, next to the uh, the cemetery. That works, right? Who doesn't love a wee bit of irony? We'll put it right next to the cemetery. It just works. Uh, otherwise, we've got a few more parks here. Statue of Shopping, that obviously has to go down here. Or Statue of Commercial Shenanigans. That's what it should be called. We'll pop that... Um... I guess we'll go there. No one's moved in. No one's going to get mad at that. Here we have the Statue of Industry. This is getting quite communist here. I have to, I have to be honest. I'm going to slam this one. Uh, I'm going to slam that one there. I feel like it fits with the aesthetic of the area. We have the Statue of Wealth. That's obviously going to go in Toryville. Do we, oh, can we put it in the center? Oh, we need to put that in the center. Space already occupied. Is it? I think that's just a little bit too small for here. That's disappointing. We're going to have to put it just off the road then. Where can we do it without moving too many houses? Quite a big, uh, a big statue, though, isn't it? Let's put it there. Right, so Toryville. In fact, let, let's just get a name now. Let's just get Toryville an, an official, official stance in existence. So Toryville's maybe there, and then here. I reckon. Well, we'll extend it to here, right? This is the, this is the outskirts of Toryville. So here's Toryville. Toryville policies here. What we're going to have: recycling, parks and recreation, education boost. Taxation we can change. Wow. Okay, I did not know you had all of these. That's uh, interesting. Interesting, I've just discovered all of those. So we could make a more educated workplace. So I'm going to try this. Never done this before, right? Could be an absolute failed experiment here. But I'm going to just do this here. And then in here, Hickory District. That's fine by me. In here, I'm going to put Industry 4.0. Doesn't matter if goods produced by zoned industry. Okay, interesting. I'm going to leave that in there. Services, do want to put anything in there? Probably recycling, right? right? So there's there's high, this is meant to be like high educated here. So I'm assuming if some move out, etc., that's when it'll probably kick in mostly. Okay, we've got death again. Death, death care just seems to be something that we're struggling with eternally. Our elder care is uh, honestly pretty, pretty shocking again. We have three elder care buildings now. I'm wondering if we maybe need one more, maybe. This, this should be servicing this pretty much full area. That is service in here. That is service in there. We maybe need one up here somewhere. But it's always a case of where do you put it? You put it there. That works. Um, medically, we have no medical stuff. No, surely we do. We have no medical bones up here whatsoever. That that won't do. We need to let's put a hospital there. What about fire? We've got fire. Police. One station there. Police. Police wise, our crime rate is really low. Which is great to see. Fire brigade. Oh god. Right, let's put a small firehouse in here. Maybe stick it in this little service road. Put it there. That'll service all of that. We have 37% fire hazard. That is oh god, that's high. That's that's seriously high. Yeah, maybe we'll slam one in here. Like so. See if we can help this. We're down at 36%. Isn't that fantastic? Oh god. Oh my god, it's flowing. I feel like we've just achieved like a decisive victory, and the fact that the dam is now flowing 
is the absolute Avengers endgame for this series. I mean, look at look at the free flow, free flowing nature of that dam. In fact, let's pause and see if we've made any any dent. Seventy six percent. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I feel like traffic here is never going to be good just because of what's around here. We've obviously got the stadium. The visitor numbers are increasing. We've got our cinema. There we go. Forty five people. Definitely not. Um, it's definitely not breaking even, but you know, time will tell, time will tell. What is this? Monuments? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. So how do you get these? Construct 600 city service buildings, bloody hell. 600? 2,000 abandoned buildings. Wow, that's, uh, that's fairly large. I'd love to get the London Eye. Construct two instances of airports. Can we even build airports? No, we can't. We could build a, a harbour, but I feel like if we build that... Oh, maybe we... <gasps> ah. So obviously it goes without saying we're not going to be able to build a harbour here. Maybe we buy this zone and we put in a harbour area here. Harbour area, maybe some more industrial in here, and then we make our rural area on... Yeah, you know what? Let's commit to that. I think we can buy two more areas. We could buy both of those and do that for the next episode. We could have access to the, the income. Although we've got a lot of poopy water there. In fact, is that not all poopy water? Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if they arrive through poopy water, right? I mean, look at Venice. Venice is fine. And that's pretty much all poopy water. So we should be able to, Yeah, we should be able to bring them in in this bank. We'll put her in, in our like rural area. We pretty much have all of our pollution sort of out of the way. I guess uh, this incineration plant's actually causing most of the, the damage there. Most of the damage. What if we put it there? There's no residential there, right? Oh no, there is. Shiza. I'm going to I'm going to rezone some of this. That should help, I think. I should cut down on some of the sickness actually, I think. Got 146k, let's see if we've got anything else. I, I want to get the London Eye. I've I've decided. We've built all of those. Built that. Here we have an opera house. They would just add. They would just add to this. We could even add it there. I probably need to increase the the density of this road, though, I imagine. We're putting an opera house in. Let's just do that. Probably should have upgraded, it, uh, upgraded the density before I, uh, I brought that in there. How much is this going to cost to move? 27 grand. Okay, that, that that's how that road's going to be for now until we get to a point where we've got enough money that we don't care about moving something like that. Um, Electricity-wise, I'm going to do that just so the network is connected. Let me get rid of this. Okay. I think we're doing alright. Our, our income's balanced. We're still up at, you know, 20, 25k and we've spent a crap ton of money on new services, etc. here. People just seem to be indefinitely happy here. A dead person is waiting. Like how much? Our healthcare ability is max, like absolute peak. Our death care crematoriums are almost av as available as people want them. Um, I guess we could slam one in here, right? Put one there. Let's actually put it there, right? So there's another one available for you. And they're always they're always greeting and going on about crematorium, crematorium. Oh, we don't have enough money. I was sitting like, why can't I build it? There's, there's a gap there. Need 25k and we'll put another one down. There you go. There's some more available. So crematorium availability is uh, kind of skyrocketed. It's, it's jumping up and down. I guess we maybe put one in along here somewhere. Crematorium available there. It's all dead bodies. That's literally what we're struggling with here. Unless we put one in over here. I guess this is a bit of a, a lull in terms of the, the crematorium availabilities. So we'll put one here and we'll put in a graveyard. Cemeteries are only eight grand, and um, so we'll maybe put that there, and then the cemetery I'll maybe put in here or here. That can work. I feel like it makes sense having them close together. Hopefully that will serve us here. Those are both good numbers. I mean that's tremendous. The average health is uh, nice, not actual nice, but nice. Childcare is pretty good. I'll maybe put in another medical clinic. Maybe we can stop some of these people from dying. So medical clinics were fine. I think we've got a big hospital here, have we not? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I was in the wrong. Uh, I was in the wrong window. 
Right, I'll maybe put in a small clinic here just to provide some cover. We'll slam that there. And there we go. Population, we're going to... Uh, you know what? We'll end today with 60k. How's that? And we're about to hit a new high. Tease it. Boom. 60,000 people in our town now. We're at, a new, we're at a new peak. We're spending a record amount of money on services. I believe we started the episode, was it 66% traffic? Something like that. We are ending on... Drum roll. Oh. Okay, we're ending on 70%. We, we did peak at 76% at one point. I maybe got a little bit overexcited. It's just dropped to 69 because I accidentally unpaused it. So it's not actually been that successful in terms of traffic flow. So that's kind of feels bad, man. This makes me sad. But I guess that's uh, <laughs> that's it for episode 10. We've basically just boosted our tourism here. This is our tourism area. So um, maybe we should actually just quickly zone that. Let's do that. We're going to end with our tourism area added. Um, if anyone has a good name for our tourism area, please uh, please hit me with it. Um, city planning here. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put in a tax relief for high uh, industry commerce and try and draw them in. And I'm also here going to put in free public transport in the tourist area. So yeah, I'm open for a name. If people have a good name suggestion here for uh, Mill Park, um, we'll just make that Tourist Town. If people have a better name suggestion for Tourist Town, I'm open to it. Our University Town's good. We've got Hickory District. This is our high residential. Sorry, this is our high intelligence industry here. So if people have a suggestion here, hit me with it. Um, I think Dutchland... I'm sure someone could come up with something better, but the idea is that it's just a meme. It's reclaimed land. I'll probably end up doing that all the way along here when the time comes. But yeah, we've made some serious progress. We've hit 60k people, which is a record high for us. Our income's balancing at 20 25k. We've spent a crap ton of money this episode, like a seriously large amount of money. So we're only going in the right direction. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Appreciate that. Again, any ideas, suggestions, feedback, chuck it in a comment. I tend to implement 100% of the comments we get. And uh, I'm looking forward to making another one. Thanks again, and I will speak to you on the next one. Toodaloo.